So how do we install project service automation in Dynamics 365 and also its sample data? Let's have a look. So first go to your Office 365 admin center, click on show all. And then over here, you will have all admin centers. So click on that. And from all admin centers, you can go to Dynamics 365 admin center. So once you're over here, you can select your instance. Right now, this is just a demo environment. So it has one instance over here, which is production. Over here, if you select the instance and then click on the edit icon against the solutions, this will tell you all the solutions that are available for this environment. So if you go ahead and then look for project service automation, it will say if it is not installed it will state that it's not installed all you can do is go to this icon over here and click on install it will show you the terms of service please go through it carefully and then click on install so once you have clicked that it will show you the status installation pending so it will take some time for the project service automation to get the installation done. Now, since there are a lot of changes which is going on, so the sample data that you might find on the Microsoft site might not be installed directly for PSA. So for that, you might also need to install field service as well. So, so to install field service, it's the same steps. So you can go ahead and install field service as well. So once it is installed, it will show you the status install and then you'll be good to go. Now, while your project service and field service are getting installed, you can come to this particular following link, which I will provide in the description in this video. And you have to download the sample data over here by clicking on this button. Over here, you can see the system requirements. The Windows version is 10 and the Microsoft Dynamics 365 version is 9.0 and above. And the field service version is 7.0 and above and project service automation version is 2.0 and above. And also for the installation instructions, when you download the package, Package and extract it there will be a PDF file uh, which you have to refer for a detailed installation instructions so when you download the sample data it will download the executable file over here so you need to double click on it and then click on yes and then provide the folder path where you want to extract the package so over here I'll provide the same folder path and click on OK so this will extract the package now we need to extract the content of this package so let me just go ahead and do that and then click on extract so once the package is installed, you can double click on it and go to the contents of the package. And then over here, you'll find a folder called package folder, PKG folder. So you can just double click on it. And over here, you'll find a PDF, which you can open. And here you'll find the detailed instructions for the installation of the sample data, which includes prepare for installation, download and pack, which we have already done. Then the steps are create and configure users, run the package, deploy installation and verify the install. Now you can go through the instructions carefully to install the sample data. So first and the foremost thing, you need to note that there is no way to uninstall the sample data. Therefore, you should only use this package for demonstration, evaluation, training, and test systems. And of course, not in the production system. Now, while you install the sample data, there are certain assumptions that are uh, done for the organization, which you can read over here. And then the document states about prepare for installations, which we have done and to download and unpack uh, the package that is also we have done now there's one step over here which says you know find this particular dll fps demo data and so if it is blocked you they are asking to unblock it so for that what we can do is go to the folder and try to find that dll here it is so right click on this and click on properties if this dll was blocked you would have found a button over here which said unblock and you just need to click over here so sometimes what happens is when you download package files and dls and many of the times the dls or the files are in blocked state so for which you have to unblock it so in this case we don't have to do anything so we can just click on ok now, the next step is to create and configure users. So the system asks to create certain users, which are David So, Jamie Redding, Molly Clark, and um, Spencer Lowe, Veronica Quirk, and William Conso. So these are the users that you need to create. For demo data, you can, what you can also do is rename some of the existing users to uh, these particular users. Now, once you have created the users, the installation instructions also state that there is a file called import user map file.xml in the package folder itself now in that file you need to replace the email id of the user from the email id that is in the dynamics 365 cr so if i can just show it to you so these are the users that are created and these are the email ids available in the dynamics 365 system and this is the file that is available
if you see the email id there there is one which is old and there is one which is new so you have to replace the new email id which is this one with the one that is available in the dynamics 365 system so as you can see over here i have done the changes to the email ids for david jamie molly spencer veronica and william now we'll go ahead and save it now once you have done that in dynamics 365 click on advanced settings and then click on settings security and then click on users now for all the users that you created in the previous section uh, you know you can you have to select those users so for example david so and then click on manage roles and then provide them the system administrator setting and then click on OK. Now, finally, in the enabled users view, you need to select and open the system administrator whose credentials you will use for the sample data installation. So in this case, we'll be using Spencer Low, and then you need to change the work hour as specified in this document that is from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and then also choose um, the time zone as well. So let's just go ahead and do that. So in this users list, let me just have do a quick search on Spencer Low and then open this user record. Click on Spencer low and then click on work hours okay so over here we'll click on new weekly schedule and then set up the work hours which is going to be 9 a.m to 5 p.m and then click on ok and for the work days we want it from monday to friday so let's just uncheck saturday and sunday we need to select pacific time us and canada click save and close and the workday is set up for Spencer Low accordingly. Now, once you have done the weekly schedule, so you need to run package deployer.exe file in your package deployer data folder. And then you need to select the deployment type as Office 365 as shown in the screenshot. And then use the credential for Spencer Low and then run the package deployer wizard as specified in this document. So let's just go ahead and do that. Now, once the installation is complete, go to Dynamics 365 and open project services over here and then click on settings and click on organization units and based on the document you can verify that these all organization units are imported so for example if i open fabricam france you will also see that the cross price list is also available with the organizational unit so this is how you can install sample data for project services i hope you got a good overview why don't you go ahead and try it out for yourself